you struggle to point the camera at people on the street? Do you have a hard time deciding what to capture? In this video, I will share with you some of the tips and how I do it. Hello, my name is Oz. I live in the city called Hong Kong. It's hectic and shops open till late at night. I never see myself as a street photographer. I like to take travel photos, spend time in nature and shoot landscapes. But 90% of the time, I'm in the city. I could literally walk out the door and start clicking, so to speak. But is it that easy? Let me show you some of the bad ones to begin with. Earlier in my photography journey, I took my film camera on the street for practice. That was many years ago. I was using a rangefinder given to me by my uncle. You can obviously see a whole lot of issues. First of all, I was wandering around. So it really can on my reaction time from the moment I identify the subject to capture it with manual focus. That explains why the focus was off. Second, I wasn't close enough. Sometimes I stood behind the subject because I was scared. Composition is off because it was spontaneous. Apart from shyness and nervousness, one of the beginner's struggles with street photography is deciding what to capture. It was overwhelming because everything happens quickly. The pace is so fast and you will be questioning yourself, did I miss the moment? It's completely normal. Let's start with people watching. Give yourself 15 minutes, just stand there and observe. You don't have to take pictures just yet. All you have to do is to identify your subject and observe what they do. Then ask yourself, when is the moment to hit the shutter button? When it comes to photography, focal length and settings are talked about the most. We don't talk enough about headspace. Let me put it this way. We are cruising through the streets as observers, using our camera to document what we see. Painters paint and photographers take photos. You are under no pressure hunting down shots. Imagine if the location changed from a busy street to a quiet village, we would be more relaxed. If you're agitated or stressed, your photos will reflect that. Just because you're in a city doesn't mean you should be rushing like everybody else. Remember our little exercise. You mindfully pick a spot. It can be a street corner that you like. You can decide how far or close between you and your subject. You have your camera settings ready. Focus check. The composition check. You are all set. The next step is to wait for people to get in your frame. Let the people come to you instead of chasing people down. Stand there and hold the camera the whole time. You can say they get in your way and photobomb your shot. Set out 10 to 15 minutes for each spot. Work on the composition. Eventually, you can shorten the time to 5 minutes. If you have a hard time deciding what to capture, here's a tip. Everyone has their favorite subjects. For me, it's the ice cream truck. It's delightful. I don't usually eat their ice cream, but I'm drawn to the color of the truck and the music that is playing. It's also very iconic in our culture. It's been around for decades. Trams, bicycles, and chess players are all my favorite subjects. Photography is always about making choices what to include and what to lose. Narrowing it down to specific subjects will help you make quicker decisions. So there you go, 
I hope you find these tips useful. As you can see, there's some preparation work you can do to get better photos. It's not completely spontaneous. When you make the decision to take the picture, it's either the subject or the place or the moment that is special. Instead of firing shots aimlessly, why don't we be more mindful? You can plan ahead and yield better results. If you become more experienced, you can shorten the planning time and be more spontaneous, of course. So what do you reckon? I hope you enjoy the tips and also learn from my mistakes. Thank you for watching.